All right, so now we're on the bottom. So same thing, we always wanna start with, well, what is our formula? B equals four thirds, pi r and cubed. Off to the side, what is B? We don't know, that's why it has Bs approximately. Pi we have 3.14, r is 16 our r? Is that our radius? No, and if you thought it was, right, remember, seven was your radius. Seven and 16 don't look the same. This is halfway across, that's all the way across. So how do I take 16, which is called my diameter, and turn it into my radius? Well, I need to divide it by two to get my radius. So 16 divided by two equals eight. So that means my radius is eight. So now let's plug and chug. V equals, keep your four thirds. Pi, we're gonna use 3.14. Ay, ay, ay. And my radius is eight and that is to the third power. So plug that all into the calculator and see what you get. Let's see if we get the same answer. Remember, we are rounding to the nearest hundredth, so that's two numbers after the decimal. I got 2143.57, and this would be feet cubed. Hopefully, that is what you got as well, and you're starting to feel pretty good about this. All right. Try number three. Try number three. Try and do it, and then come back, and let's see if we got the same answer. Welcome back. Four thirds pi r cubed. We have volume unknown. Pi is 3.14. Radius is five. So And then when you do that, we should have gotten 523.33, this would be centimeters cubed. Hopefully that is what you have. Hopefully that is what you have. If you're still struggling, please don't hesitate to reach out and let me know what your issue may be last one and then we will be done.